Welcome back to another exciting video from the weekly contest 367. This is a problem A. First we will solve this problem and then we will solve the extension version of this problem. This is a easy problem and this is a medium problem. So first uh, I recommend you to try to solve this problem at least 25 minutes. If you unable to solve it then you can come and watch this video. Uh, to, to, uh, to have better experience you can switch the playback speed. So first let's understand the question then we will try to build the logic then we will see high level of the coding part. So first you are given a zero indexed integer array nums having length n an integer inti index difference and an integer value difference. Hmm? Your task is to find two indices i and j both in the range that satisfy the following condition. He is saying that he will give index difference and he will say value difference. And we need to find both i and j, i and j, such that i minus j, i minus j should be greater than or equals to index, and value of i minus value of j should also be greater than or equals to value of difference. So these are our two conditions. We need to return an integer answer where answer is i j. If there are two such indices and minus one minus one, if there is no answer, we will return minus one and minus one. And if you have multiple answers, we can return any of them. We can return any of them. I think you understand understood this question. First, let's understand. Um, first, let's see how we can solve. How we can solve. He is saying i and j. So definitely this is going to be a pair. So what I will do, I will iterate from. Directly brute force, I will iterate. i is equals to 0. j is equals to i. I will iterate and I will check. a base of i minus j greater than or greater than value. Then I will store in answer and I will break it. I will break it. I think most of you have solved this problem. And in this the time complexity would be order of n square. And the space we are taking answer. So this is only the size of 2. So it is only order of 1. So let's understand the optimized solution. Let's uh, let's break down the problem. Suppose uh, you have this example. Or suppose if you see. Now we can say index as 2 and value as 4. Now, if you are now if you are at position zero, position zero, are you saying that index equals to two? Okay. We can start from here, right? Zero plus two. So if you subtract two minus zero, uh, two minus zero is greater than or equals to two. So everything, everything towards the right side, satisfy this condition. Everything towards the right side satisfy this condition. Here we have seven. Here we have two this is going to fail because the value difference is not uh, greater than or equal to 4 but here we have 7 7 minus 3 it is greater than 4 so in this we have an answer we have answer so we are going to the right side and we are checking the maximum value maximum value let's see another case let's see another case suppose you have same but these values are different now it's zero index if you see uh, my value should be 4 if you go toward the right side my maximum will be 7 7 minus 4 it's 3 it's not satisfied then we will come to 3 then we will go towards the right side we will check from the right side from 3 we will check for 0 we have checked from 2 for 3 we will check from uh, this index 3 so if we check we have 7 at index 4 7 minus 3 it is 4 it is satisfying so yes it's going to be satisfied now suppose let's say this scenario you have at this position 7 I will check, I can check from here, I can check from here, at 5 it going to fail. So if I take anything which is a minimum value, anything which is minimum, this one. So this is my satisfying this condition, this condition, so I can return 0, 6 or I can return anything, 0, 5 or 0, 4. So this is going to be answer, we can return any of them. So I think you understood it, I think you understood it. Suppose if you have minimum, if you take right side right side what are the all the minimums or all the maximums maximums suppose if uh, our this required index required index is towards the left side left side then this gonna be my maximum difference this gonna be my maximum difference if we are going to the right side suppose it is here then this gonna be my maximum difference huh? so minimum we need to take maximum suppose if you are at this position towards the minimum so this is gonna be my answer suppose if you are at this position this is gonna be my answer 
so i think you have understood i think why we are taking minimum and maximum if you see these are the extreme points with this extreme points you can get the answer that's why we have taken this so let's see the code coding is also uh, pretty easy we will uh, so suppose if you see this is my result we are here for the first we will store the maximum and in the second we are going to store the minimum we are iterating and we are just storing the minimum and maximum you can do yourself uh, you can try the coding part yourself because if you get the logic and if you try to code then only this logic will be there in your mind or else uh, it will it will dilute uh, and we are taking answer 2 comma minus 1 and j is equals to i plus index as i mentioned as i mentioned if you are at this position index is 2 we can directly go here and we can check towards the all the right elements towards the right element that's why we have incrementing j and at every position we have calculated minimum and maximum yes we have calculated minimum and maximum so we are subtracting it we are absolute difference we are taking if it is greater than value then we are coming here then we are definitely we got an answer we definitely got an answer then to get that index we want that index not the value so we will iterate j is equal k is equal to j k less than n and at every index we will check it uh, if it is satisfying at this position at this position it will come here and it will check it's not as not satisfying not satisfying it is satisfying then it will return it will store into my answer then we will break then we will break and if it is satisfying then we can break because we got the answer and we are returning the uh, answer now so if you see the if you are seeing a loop here but how many times it will run only once only once and it will be order of n it will run only once because if once the condition is satisfied it will run and it will break this loop runs order of n so the my time complexity would be order of n plus n it will be order of n my space it is constant order of one so from op proof for solution we have optimized it i hope you understand this solution so if you understand this please do like uh, please do like and i will post all the solutions from the lead code contest whether either it is bi-weekly or weekly contest so you can subscribe to my channel to get the notifications and thank you for watching